Hola, buenos días, es Nico. <risa>
ages ago, ages ago. And I never added him because my friend had a crush on him. And I'm like, I don't need this nigga trying to holler at me if my friend has a crush on him. I really, I really don't want that energy. So afterwards, my friend was like, oh yeah, I actually don't have a crush on him anymore. He's kind of weird. I'm like, what do you mean? He's just uncomfortable. I'm like, okay, that's chill, I guess. So this dude then contacted me on Instagram. He's like, okay, well, I tried to add you on Facebook, but you didn't add me back. And um, I would actually like to do a photo shoot with you. No, he messaged me on Jacked. So I go through a phase where I'll download Jack for like a week and then I'll just delete it. Like at this point, I don't have any apps because men are draining <laughs> and I'm trying to focus on like me, myself and I, that's why I got those toys. But yeah, so it's like, he messaged me on Jack and he was like, yeah, I wanna do a photo shoot with you before I move to Dallas. And I'm like, cool, that's whatever. So we set it up and I'm gonna bring up the screenshots because the last time I spoke about it, somebody was like, do you have any proof? Do you have any screen? I have tons of screenshots. And at this point I put out this man's name because I told you, I don't like to bring mess to my stories, to my videos. I don't like to bring like my personal business because at the end of the day, I'm just reporting news that's on Twitter or I'm talking about topics that are relevant to our community. But this situation, I had to name him because somebody brought up the point of he might be doing this to other people and that's not okay. That's not okay because as soon as he moved to Dallas, one of my followers hit me up with screenshots saying, yeah, he was actually mad aggressive and very like aggy towards me. And he showed me the, like, he showed me the screenshot. So it's like, this person has a history of doing this kind of shit. So I'm like, you know what? It's whatever. I'm going to put it out there because I, <laughs> because I don't want to be seen as a model that just doesn't credit their photographers. Because I know a few people that do that and that's a really shitty thing. But when I posted the last set of pictures, he was like, why didn't you at me on the post and blah, 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 blah. Listen, if you're sexually harassing me, if you're, if you're making me feel uncomfortable if you're messaging me at 3 to 4 a.m to go off on me about random shit that you don't understand i'm not about to sit here and credit you for the work that i also put in because i was also on that set for eight hours all i had that day was three boiled eggs and you know what he continued to tell me just keep drinking just keep drinking so you can relax here smoke this blunt with me so you can relax so it's like it was already like a very weird environment that i wasn't really comfortable in so if i'm putting in that much work eight hours through an uncomfortable situation, I'm still gonna post these pictures because I also put in the work for that. Because like I always say, as a model, I need your talent to bring my talent out. So if I'm also putting in energy into this, I'm gonna put up my project. I'm not gonna just not post it because you are a sick person. So I posted it, I didn't tag him, I didn't give him no credit when people were like, where did you get the shoes? Where did you get the combat boots? I said the photographer and I left it at that because I'm not gonna do this back and forth with people. So. It all started off after he originally asked me to do that photo shoot. Everything was going fine. He was telling me about concepts, sending me um, the wardrobe because he was actually supplying wardrobe. So he sent me the pictures of the wardrobe. He was talking about concepts and he kept trying to get very familiar as in like friendship wise. And you know what? I don't have that strict business mentality where it's a, uh, okay, well, do not talk to me unless you're talking about business. If you are a genuinely nice person, I will I will be your friend. I don't mind it. Like my friend Guadalupe, who did my very first photo shoot, um, I think I have pictures, I'll insert it here if I do. We're friends, like we casually talk, like that's perfectly fine. Like he's on my Snapchat and I don't even have nobody on Snapchat but family. So it's like, <laughs> I don't mind being friends with photographers as long as we keep it professional at the end of the day. So when it came to him, we were talking and he was like making jokes or whatever. I'm like, okay, you're contacting me a lot. I didn't vocalize that, but I'm like, okay, it's whatever. You're just trying to be nice. It's cool. And then he made a joke. Uh, oh, I said I'm nearing for the photo shoot because I'm like, okay, well, unless you want me to have like pubes in the picture, I'm gonna nair because I prefer myself to be like near hairless. I like chest hair and a little happy trail, but I don't really like a lot of hair on my body because it's not full enough to grow like a full thing. So I told him I'm nair and then he exclamated, pointed it. And I'm like, why the exclamation point? And he said, what? I'm gonna insert the pictures that I'm trying to remember. He said something creepy like, well, I don't, oh, I masturbate to my models afterwards. And I said, LOL, you really know how to put someone at ease. Because my thing is when I'm uncomfortable, unless you're directly making me violently uncomfortable, I'm gonna brush it off as a joke. I'm gonna say, okay, ha 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 ha, that's funny, but please don't talk to me like that. And after I said that, he made a big deal saying, oh, we're not gonna vibe. And you know what, the photo shoot is off because you know what, you're giving me Mariah Carey diva. And I'm sitting here, <laughs> y'all know I'm a Gemini. So I'm like, bitch, I could give you Mariah Carey diva, but no, I'm giving you 
you're crossing my boundaries. Do not talk to me like that. And I explained that in a polite way saying, we can continue the photo shoot, just don't talk to me like that. And he was adamant on canceling it. And you know what? I said, you know what, dude, it's whatever. You didn't spend my money when you bought wardrobe. I'm not getting paid for this. It's whatever. So I dropped it. Tell me why this man messaged me back like nothing had happened and said that, oh, we should do the photo shoot this day. And that, that's when it should have clicked. Oh, he's unstable. He's unstable as in this man is toxic as shit. Toxic as shit. Because after that, the thing is, when we did the photo shoot, I stayed for eight hours. I stayed for eight hours until 2 to 3 a.m. in the morning. And I had only had three boiled eggs that entire day because that's, I ate thinking, okay, well, my last photo shoots maybe lasted like two to three, maybe even four hours at the latest. This lasted eight hours. Eight hours and I'm starving. So after the photo shoot, he's like, okay, well, I can buy you, um, I can buy you dinner and you can stay here. We can continue shooting. And I'm like, well, personally, I don't eat a lot when I'm taking a photo shoot because I like to be light on my feet. Also, I had to go home and take my prep because I take, you know, true, well, no, I take Descovy now, um, which is an HIV preventative. I don't think I was having a lot of sex at that time, but still it's a part of my ritual. So I'm like, I have to go take it at 10 PM. It's already 2 AM, I gotta go home. And he was like, well, maybe you could do this and do that. And maybe I can give you some of my prep and blah. Like he was desperately trying to keep me at his apartment to the point that my friend, um, Jay Juan, y'all probably know who he is on Twitter. Anyway, my friend Jay Juan, <laughs> Um, he called me. I'm like, hey, Jay Juan, what's up? Because that's how I answered the phone. I'm like, hey, Jay Juan. So we're talking. I'm like, okay, well, I'm in the middle of a photo shoot. So I'll call you when I'm about to leave. And he's like, okay, bye. So tell me why this man, tell me why this man decided to get upset with me. He got immediately upset and his entire attitude changed and he suddenly became silent. I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to leave. And he's like, okay, cool, whatever. So I leave, the energy was off by the time I was leaving. I'm like, you know what, it's whatever. Maybe he's just tired, you know, we've been drinking, smoking all day, it's none of my business. So I go home, tell me why this man. So, no, 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 no. So when I was leaving, the energy was already off. We had already discussed prior that we were gonna um, have another shoot tomorrow because there wasn't enough time because I stayed eight hours, eight hours. This man kept trying to keep me there for like 12 to 15, like, I'm, this isn't a full-time job. This is a free photo shoot. So he's talking about coming back tomorrow. And I'm like, okay, cool, I'll try. I oversleep because at this point, it's 2 a.m. I had three boiled eggs to survive an eight hour photo shoot after my workout, because I worked out prior to that. I was exhausted. I overslept and I apologized. I apologized and he had asked if I wanted to come shoot with another model that was currently there because he filled the time slot. I'm like, you know what? Sure, who is it? When he sent the pictures, I'm like, this person doesn't really fit my brand. You know, they're doing more racier pictures and I'm not really gonna equal that energy. So I, I did it. I was like, you know what? It's cool. You know what? I'll just catch you on another time and blah, 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 blah. It's whatever. So tell me why this man decided to wait until 3 a.m. I don't know if it was that day or the day afterwards. I have I have the screenshot of that one too. He decided to wait until 3 a.m. to hit me up saying it was real unprofessional how you overslept and you not respecting my craft and blah, 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 blah. And my thing is, cause I'm gonna have this all inserted right here. My thing is y'all saw how I already apologized. Like at the most I can say is I'm sorry. The fuck do you want me to do? It's like, I, I can't give you back the time that you didn't spend Cause it's not like you were, it's not like I had you set up shit. Things were already set up from last night. I apologized. What What can I do? So he's going off of me and I'm telling him, I said, I'm sorry. I don't know what more to do. He's like, what about blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. And then he's like, your ego is out of bounds. Your ego is this. And like, he always makes references to me being a diva, to me thinking that I'm Beyonce, to me acting like Mariah Carey, to my ego is, and I'm very humble. And I feel like that's the reason why he thought he could try me because I'm a very nice and passive person and people feel like they can walk all over me because of that, but they forget that I am not the one to fuck with. Like the nice people, you do not fuck with them. I purposely am nice because I'm a dick at heart. Do not fucking try me, especially in these situations when I'm actively being nice to straight up rudeness. So he decided to, you know what, be upset and blah, 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 blah. And I went off on him. I'm like, don't you ever, like, what are you talking about? The most that I can say is I'm sorry. And then we moved on. Because bitch, the most that I can say is I'm sorry. That's it. So at this point, I it's like weeks later and I choose to post. I choose to post previews of an outfit that we didn't even use in the photo shoot. Like if you look at it on my Instagram, I'll probably insert a picture of that. I posted like a preview of the outfits, but we didn't even get to using that outfit in the photo shoot. And he DM'd me upset. 
I'm gonna send it right here. I'm not gonna insert his voicemail because I don't wanna listen to three minutes of that bullshit on video record. Point is, he sent three minutes worth of voicemail saying, you didn't post me and how didn't you tag me? And you know what, you can't just tag me on your post going, oh, this is who shot the photo because they're not gonna come to your page. You see how you got two to 3,000 likes? I ain't get shit but seven followers. And I'm just sitting here like, listen, the agreement, I would post you, I would tag you, and if you posted a story, I would repost it to my story. The thing is, this man, he posted a story of my photo shoot, that like the previews, he posted a story of the previews, but did not tag me. If anyone knows how the Twitter technical services work, you know that to share someone else's story, you have to be tagged on it. So he didn't tag me, so I could physically not share the story. And at this point, I'm, I, I'm I'm annoyed because it's like this. It's 3 a.m. in the morning and you're going off on me about something that you fucking did. Like you didn't tag me so I could not repost it. So after I explained it to him, he was like, oh, well, that's not what I meant. You know, I'm talking about in general. And I'm like, if you were talking about in general, you would not have came up in here with that much fucking heat in this voicemail. Bitch, you didn't know what you were doing. You didn't understand how Instagram worked and you got mad that I could not repost you. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? So I'm getting fed up at this point because at the end of the day, when the photos came in, they weren't even that great. Like the photos that you guys saw, I'm the one that had to finish touching them up. I had to fix the um the lighting. I had to fix the shading. I had to fix the shadows. I had to fix things where like the fucking sock where he tried to Photoshop it. It was ridiculous. It's getting to the point where I'm putting up with fucking crazy bullshit for a subpar product that I didn't even necessarily want to do. You contacted me. You contacted me. So at this point, I'm getting upset. So, fast forward. I, I think we're on the last touching point because I can't remember because there's so many. So, fast forward. We're talking about another shoot because I'm going to visit my friend Jay Juan in Dallas and I'm going to buy his laptop so that I can use it as a streaming laptop. I told you at the beginning of this video, right? So, tell me why this man. I told him, okay, well, you said you want me to come out to Dallas to do a photo shoot. Sure, I can do it, but I'm going to be staying with my friend. He was emphasizing that I stay with him so we can have a round-the-clock 24-7 photo shoot. And at this point, this man has harassed me. He has made sexual advances that were unwanted, and I was uncomfortable with doing that kind of shit with him. So, I told him, okay, well, I'm going to be in Dallas, but Jay Juan works during the day, so I will be able to do a photo shoot. But I really don't want to do, like, another eight our photo shoot i can come during the day on saturday we can hang out do the photo shoot it's whatever and he was like actually no you should probably catch me next time because i'm gonna need a full day of photo shoots and i told him even if i come next time i'm not gonna do a whole day of photo shoots i'm not gonna do a whole day of a photo shoot because at this point i've recognized that the product isn't even worth it because the photos are subpar i have to finish editing you make you'd like the one of the selfies that i did like where it's like me in like a black top and purple pants he made it so that my face was so light like the light was blaring so hard on my face it looked ridiculous and you know what i'm sitting here thinking i'm not about to put up with this because i know he's about to go off so I told him, I don't want to do that, but next time we could work something out, you know, and we dropped it there. And then he came back and he was like, I don't know why you were so against wearing a song in my photo shoot when you're wearing underwear by someone who's on OnlyFans getting gutted raw. And this is where you take a photo shoot. And he sent me a picture of him and his like empty ass apartment next to a window going, this is what models do, not some OnlyFans whore. Like he was really not only shit talking me because I didn't want to be in a thong in the photo shoot, because he wanted me in just a thong. I said no. So he got upset with me because of that. And then he got ignorant with the people that sent me an underwear collab. The thing is with the underwear company, I get paid for those. Secondary, it wasn't even the, the OnlyFans actor's underwear company. It was just a collab with the company starring his name. So it's like, you're attacking this person for nothing. You're attacking me for nothing when in reality, my my most highlight picture is still me in my restroom in a do-rag and a thong and some fucking shorts that cover up my ass because I didn't want my whole ass out. I don't, I don't do shit like that. So he's upset that I'm not doing it this way. He's upset that I'm partnering with them. And at this point, I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, what are you talking about? Because he also got, he got ignorant with me he was talking about oh well i'm about to do another shoot um here's the clothes here's the um bed and it's gonna be with a female model i might try to fuck her because i want kids but she's married lol and i'm like at this point 
you're not only harassing me, but you're a predator to female models as well. And I understand <laughs> that I probably should have spoken up faster, but at this point you're putting, you've, you've alerted me that you're doing this to more than one person. So I'm like, I don't wanna work with you anymore. I no longer wanna have contact with you. Leave me alone. I don't wanna do this anymore. He was like, thumbs up, whatever. And he got upset because I said, I don't like how the way you talk to me and how you talk about me. So talking to me, I meant sexually. Talking about me, I meant how you continue to harass me about having a large ego and that I was some kind of diva because I said, I need to sleep. I need to eat more than three boiled eggs and I don't want to be in a thong. And he got so upset. He was like, I didn't even talk about you and blah, 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 blah. We don't even run in the same circles. And at that point, I just stopped. Look, I sent him a message that was like, I ain't reading all that. I'm sorry that happened. Or oh, I'm happy you something, bitch. I, I'm not. I'm not reading that. Like at that point, I'm not reading textbooks from a from a predator that I no longer want to associate with. So it's like I'm not about to read all this shit. So at the end of the day, it's like that's where it ended until he saw that I didn't tag him in the photos. And I already told you guys, I'm not gonna tag somebody and send unknowing people to you to be to be photographed to be photographed by you when you are a predator. I'm tired of this predatory nature and I'm tired of people not talking about it, especially within the gay community. Um, especially within the gay community with models because I remember recently, not recently, like sometime last year, they were exposing heterosexual photographers who were harassing and sexually assaulting women. And I'm about, to, I'm about to do the same for men because I'm tired of this bullshit happening. And so many cases have happened like this because people were retweeting and going, I was in a similar situation, this almost happened to me, etc. And they don't speak up about it because they're embarrassed. And that's not gonna be me. Bitch, I'm gonna put your ass on blast because you tried the right fucking one. So yeah, that's that's the story. That's I'm gonna insert all the information because y'all know I don't bullshit. Like my thing is, if I don't know what I'm talking about, I don't speak on it. You're not about to harass me like this. I'm not doing this shit. Cause bitch, the pictures weren't worth it. That's the thing, that's the bottom line. It's like, you know what? You know what, in all these horrible situations, you remember the Me Too era with Har Harvey Weinstein, they were put into quality products. Unfortunately, they were harassed and sexually, you know, mistreated to try to keep this role. But in this case, bitch, this isn't even quality products because at the end of the day, I had to do the work. Like you took the picture, yeah, you took the picture, you picked out the wardrobe. I'm the one that had to do all the editing on the fucking work. Like, come on, so yeah. That's the story. I'm sorry, this is gonna be like a 20, 22, 25 minute long video. It's just a lot, but yeah. Thank you guys for listening um, and I'll see you next week. If you had any situations like this, please comment down below. I will gladly help you expose these people because this is not okay, but yeah. And once again, a quick thank you to all my patrons on Patreon and a quick shout out to my third eye tier patrons. Your support means everything to me and helps me do this a lot more smoothly. I will also be listing this week's live stream topic in case anybody wants to join in on the fun. I will see you guys there. Bye.